converting from y delta or delta to y conversion uh, those are not necessarily the formulas are not in the book in the FE handbook so we're gonna have to memorize it um, so I this is a way I've learned to actually derive it I've learned to derive it basically so um, this is y and this is delta of course I mean some people call this pi some people call this t whatever but um because it looks like a t and this looks like a semi pi or whatever but this is delta and this is y that's how I learned it and so how do I derive the formulas so if I'm given a y connected network if I'm given this and I want to convert it to this so I already know these I want to convert it to these individuals u12 z13 z23 this is how I learn to do it automatically so z12 z13 z23 equal 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 so automatically I, I just put this if I if it's not open book exam or whatnot I write this on a piece of paper automatically so z12 is gonna be over 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 so this is from T or maybe from Y to Delta okay so z12 there's, there's no 3 so I put z3 here z13 there's no 2 so I put over z2 and here is z1 and then on top is all the same everywhere so I have z1 z2 plus z1 z3 plus z2 z3 that's how it's everywhere the same thing so as soon as you figure out what's in the bottom the top is the same everywhere plus z1 z2 plus z1 z3 plus z2 z3 so you don't really have to sort of like sit down and recite what's what you just need to learn the pattern so z12 is no 3 put it in the bottom put it in the bottom put it in the bottom here okay now from delta to y from delta to y so I want to know the y so z1 is equal z2 is equal something over at the bottom now here the bottom will be the same everywhere okay so what's missing here on top 2 and 3 so I have z1 2 because I'm using the delta values what's missing is 2 and 3 so 1 2 times 1 3 here what's missing 1 and 3 right so I have z to 1 z to 3 what's missing here 1 and 2 so I have z 3 1 z 3 2 now at the bottom is the same everywhere so I have z 1 2 plus z 1 3 plus z 2 3 same thing everywhere okay so these formulas are not in the book so you have to learn to memorize it and this is how I come up with it really whenever I'm in a test and it's not open book or whatnot um, and I have I have to derive these formulas on my own and so I just uh, basically put it in a sheet right away um, so this is it that's how I derive it alright thanks